Okay, uh, hello everybody. It's Polymer Bob here. Uh, thank you for tuning in. As most of you know, I've made a series of videos, I think four so far, uh, concerning the problem of how to log into PayPal without giving them your mobile phone number. Now, this will seem like uh, boring repetition for some of you, but for those of you who have not seen the other videos, let me just give you a quick rundown of what the situation is. Let's say we go into PayPal here. Okay. Share the joy of PayPal. Well, that's what we're trying to do. Okay, let's come up here and hit the login button. Okay. I'm blocking out my, uh, my email address because I ha it has my real name in it. But let's put in the password. Okay, here we go. Okay, PayPal is demanding, as it has for over two years now, that you give it a mobile phone number. Uh, you cannot get past this page if you do not give PayPal your number. Now, for some reason, you may not have a number or you may decide not to give it to them. For whatever reason, you may not be in a position uh, to give PayPal a mobile phone number in which case you are stuck. You cannot get past this page and you cannot log into PayPal uh, to access your own money. In any case, uh, the techniques I've presented so far uh, seem to be working intermittently. Sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to attempt to present you with a new technique or it's actually a, a variation on an older technique that I believe will allow you uh, to log into PayPal without giving them a phone number. Now what we're going to do is we're going to visit an old friend. www.cshepherd.org Now some of you may remember a year and a half ago uh, I did a video on using the C Shepherd web page uh, to get into PayPal. This is an environmental organization. They combat whaling and other damage to the marine environment. Okay, but that's not relevant here. Uh, sea Shepherd seems to have made some changes to their web page. And we're going to make some changes to our technique and we're going to see if we can get in. Now, notice I did not clear the web browser. Okay, I believe this technique will work without clearing your browser. What I'll say is, what I'll say is, uh, try the technique I'm going to show you without clearing your browser. If it does not work, then go back, clear the browser, and give it another try. Okay, so here we are. Here, this is the C Shepherd home page. We're going to go up here to the button that says Donate Today. Click on that button and the donation page should come up. Now here uh, you can donate through various methods. You can give certain amounts. It's asking for your name and address and whatnot. Okay, we're going to skip this. We're going to go down here and we're going to find where it says donate with cryptocurrency. Okay, right below that is a line that says for more ways to donate please visit our support us page. Click on support us. Okay. Here's the Support Us page. Now, I'm going to go down here on the left. You have all these ways to donate. Here you see it says Donate with PayPal. Okay, click on that. All right, now, here it says Donate via PayPal. Okay, big orange button. Click on that. Okay. Now what you're going to do here is you're going to put in an amount. It really doesn't matter. We're not going to make a donation. I mean, you could put in $30 trillion here. It really doesn't matter. Okay. Now, big yellow button says donate with PayPal. Please wait. Okay. Now I'm blocking out my, uh, uh, my email address again. Let's put in the password. Okay. Hit the blue login button. And we're going to wait patiently here. 
And wait, here we go. Okay, now this is the type of page that we've seen before. You're not really logged in. This is just a page they present to you that allows you uh, to make a donation. Now I'm blocking out my home address here. When you, when you come to this page, your actual home address will appear in this box down here. I think they get it off the PayPal page. Now if I were to hit this blue button that says donate now, I would make the 20 dollar donation to Sea Shepherd. Now I'm sure it's a worthwhile charity. I'd have nothing against donating, but that's not what we're doing today. Now what you're going to do here, let's go back up here. Okay. Now, notice up here on the address bar you have paypal.com slash donate slash member question mark token, whole bunch of garbage. Okay. Click on the garbage, hit the end key. Okay, and that'll take you to the far right side. Now hit the backspace bar and we're going to delete all this garbage. Now be careful here, you're going to delete the member question mark, okay, delete the donate, delete the slash, okay. Now up here in the, the address bar we now have nothing but https colon slash slash www.paypal.com. There's nothing after that. All the other rigmarole has been removed. Now let's hit the enter key. Boom, here we are, we are in. Okay, I, my, I think my balance hasn't changed one iota since the last the video. I don't use PayPal much anymore. But notice this is my actual page. This is my actual uh, page. I was able to get here. As I said, I did not clear my browser. You know, try it that way. If it doesn't work, clear your browser, try a second time, and one of those two times should work. So now I can send, request, I can do whatever I want to do. I'm in when I'm done, log out, and uh, that's about it. So uh, let me know how this technique works. I make comments in the comments section. Uh, let me know if I need to make any, uh, make any changes or alterations, uh, see if I can improve it, and uh, let me know what you think. Uh, thank you very much and have a wonderful day.